What's up y'all, it's Alfred and I am back with another video. So for today's video guys, as you all can see, I'm bringing back the vlog style videos. I'm gonna be like mixing it up and doing like both like professional style and vlog style videos just to give you all like a variety of content on my channel. So for today's video guys, I'm gonna be partnering up with Supernova here to tell you all all of the secrets and the tricks and the tips that I've learned from making closure wigs and everything to just perfect it and make it look as realistic as possible. Closure wigs are a great alternative to wigs if you don't want to go ahead and glue down the whole entire frontal I definitely would recommend getting into closure wigs if you aren't like a frontal girl and you just don't got time to glue down the whole entire hairline I would definitely recommend getting into closures closures are just so so convenient at times if you know how to do it right then sometimes you can make it even look like a frontal so that's what I'm definitely gonna be showing you all how to do today to definitely make it look like a frontal and make it look as realistic as possible so if this is your first time seeing my face or one of my videos hello my name is Alfred for nice to meet you and if you're returning welcome back bitch you already know I missed you so welcome new and returning before you all leave don't forget to hit that bell button down below to be notified every single time I post a video also if you don't already don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter they are both alpha lowercy third same as my YouTube name without further ado let's go ahead and hop right on into the video so supernova went ahead and sent me over a let me see the actual specs of the hair I do have the shadow you just get the shit out of me 22 inches 180 density 5 by 5 so those are the specs of the hair it says it's 180 density but honestly I'm getting like 150 I will see when the hair dries because when the hair is wet it just obviously looks thinner because all the curls are together so this is the lace and everything like that I went ahead and pre bleached the knots already and as you all can see I wish it was transparent lace it's not really transparent lace it has like the weirdish tint to it if anybody wanted to know any more details or any specific details on this wig all of the information will be down below in the description box like all Ways. I'm gonna go ahead and prop you all up so we can go ahead and get to customizing this wig. Shut up! Ain't nobody tell you to go in there and get to see y'all. He be going in there taking my wigs. Ain't nobody tell you to go in there and get these wigs. Go there, do that. Ain't nobody tell you to go in there and do that. So first off, I'm just going to start by taking my high comb and just high combing the hair back so I can see the plucking that's already on it. And what I'm gonna do is find the middle and make my middle part first and then I'm gonna pluck on each side. Cause if I just pluck like this straight back, once I go ahead and part the middle, I can have like a ball spot like right here and I don't want that. I've done that so many times before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make my part first and then pluck over here and then pluck over there. Also now that I have my part in it, I'm gonna start working on this side first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is part out like the very front section. If you watch my secrets to plucking a realistic frontal, then I'm literally just gonna do like the same technique that I did in that video. I'm gonna take the longer side or the more pointier side. Actually, I'm gonna go back a little bit more. This is where I'm gonna go ahead and start plucking that. As you call, can see, it's like very thick. I'm just gonna go ahead and fade that out really quick. And I'm not really gonna pluck any from like right here, like right, right, right there. I'm gonna try to leave that unplucked because if I go ahead and pluck too much out right there, it can start looking like a ball spot and I really do not want that. All right, so now that I have the bulk of it plucked, I'm gonna start focusing on the actual like hairline. So I'm going to do it like this on a curve because I don't want to pluck anything out from right here because that's already thick enough. And if I go ahead and pluck too much out right there, then like I said, it's gonna start looking like a bar spot. So I wanna just go ahead and avoid that. out the very 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 beginning because that's like the pre-plucked part I don't want to pluck any of that because that's already sparse enough so I'm just gonna take the pointy part of my tweezers and just go ahead and pluck out the very 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 beginning so something like this y'all as you all can see 
This side is way more plucked and it just looks way more realistic. And then when I put it on, it's gonna give that frontal effect when I go ahead and lay down the baby hairs and everything. Another trick that I like to do is, well, I don't think you all can see it on camera. Maybe if I zoom it all in, let me, I didn't even know this camera could zoom in that far, y'all. But I guess it's working. So, as you all can see, this little piece right here, this little knot, it's like black and dark. I guess the bleach didn't catch that. So what I like to do is just pluck those out and then it's gonna, especially on the beginning of the hairline, cause then it's just gonna give that a um, way more realistic look because nobody has black dots at the start of their hairline. So every little black dot I see, we're just gonna go ahead and pluck that out so that I won't even see that on the lace. All right, as you all can see, very nice, very realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and I'll be right back when I'm all done with that. I'm done plucking the unit now. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do off camera is just put a little bit of foundation inside of the lace to try to match it to my skin tone. And then we can go ahead and start styling her. And I'm gonna show you all how I'm gonna lay it down with some baby hairs and all of the tips and the tricks that I've learned with that. Why am I like patting her head? Like, yes, bitch. I am back ready to install the wig. So I put some foundation on the lace as you all can see. So now it's going ahead and blend it into my skin tone a little bit better. So I'm gonna pop her on. I don't know if I need to adjust the cap yet. So another key to making the closure wig lay as flat as possible is to making sure it's secure and tight enough. So definitely utilize these little straps back here if you don't do that. So as you all can see, that is what the closure is now looking like. So I like her, she's cute, she's nice and cute. I have it laid where I think I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing it down. Actually, I lied, before I glue it down, I'm gonna cut off the lace. So now that I can see where the hairline starts and everything, I'm just gonna take my razor and just drag it along. So now I'm gonna start gluing it down. So I'm only gonna take this on the edges of the lace. So to press down the lace and the glue, all I took was the handle of my razor and I just used that to press it down since it's flat. Alright, so now that that is all glued down, yeah, she's pretty secure. So now I'm gonna start working on my baby hairs and this little piece that I left like very, very, very sparse. I'm just gonna bring that down and then this is going to be my baby hairs, like right there. I think I'm gonna cut them pretty longer today, y'all, cause usually I already know I do like the short baby hairs. I think I'm gonna do pretty long ones today. I'm just gonna take some edge control. And just put the tiniest amount on it. One side done, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So 
like to do this style of baby hair when I'm doing closure units, like the two on the side and nothing in the middle because it just gives that frontal effect. It's just my preference. I know some people who like to do three swoops, like when they do one right here, one right here, and one right here. And I know some people who just like to do one swoop right here. So it's literally just your preference. Okay, so now that I have my baby hairs all done, I'm gonna go ahead and redefine my part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wet the hair real quick before I do my part because I don't want the water to go ahead and mix with the makeup. Now I'm going to take my foundation powder. This is just the same shade as my skin tone. So I'm gonna take that on the lace just to go ahead and blend everything. I don't have any baby hairs right there. Going ahead and like camouflaging that. So I'm gonna focus that right here. And I'm just gonna push my hair back and put it inside of the lace so that that could look my skin tone as well. And y'all, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and take my foundation on a flat brush and just go ahead and define my part. To be honest, I don't like this hair wet. Um, it's kind of like straight in the front. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and dry it some real quick. Can I tell me this is not giving the girls frontal? This is giving the girls wet wig. All right, y'all. So this is the end of the video. This is the complete hair. I really do hope you all enjoyed it. Basically, did everything that I would normally do to a closure wig in this video. So if you all follow all of my steps in this video, then it would definitely turn out like this. Just remember to take your time plucking. It's definitely a cute wig. I do enjoy it a lot. I like the hair texture and I like the lace and everything. But if I had transparent lace, it would just it would have knocked it out of the park. I want to tell y'all that right now. I mean, this is still sickening. Everything on this wig is to die for. I really love it. I love the way it turned out. I'm definitely going to start doing closure units more often. If you are interested in this wig or this hair, all of the hair information will be down below in the description box. If you all haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on my post notifications by clicking that bell button down below to be notified every single time I post a video. If you don't already, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. They are both alphalorec3, the same as my YouTube. YouTube name. I really hope you all learned something from this video. I give you all all of my tips and my tricks. But that's all that I have for today, guys. I love you all so, so, so fucking much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, bitch. <laughs>